humility brings exaltation. James chapter 4 and verse 10, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. 1 Peter 5 at verse 6, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. You see, the scriptures teach us this, that if we will humble ourselves before God, He will exalt us. He will bring promotion. He will bring increase. He will bring growth and fruitfulness in our lives. He Himself will do it, and He will do it in due time, in a time when we are ready, in a time when we are able to handle it, in a time where it will not be wasted if it is entrusted to us. So humility positions us to being exalted by God Himself at the right time. The Bible teaches us that if we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, in the, re in the fear of God, in the sight of the Lord, then God Himself will bring promotion to our lives. So here is an encouragement in our, to us to walk with humility, knowing that God will bring exaltation. The Bible tells us in Psalm 75, Verses 6 and 7, it says that exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and he raises up the other. See, it is God himself who brings exaltation into our lives. It is God himself who creates that room, that opportunity to lift us up. So as we walk in humility for, before God, this is a promise that He will lift us up and we can have that assurance in our hearts and in wait for His time for exaltation. In Luke the 18th chapter, the 10th to the 14th verses, we see a record of an instance where two people went up to the temple to pray. There was a Pharisee, there was a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed and, and, and he said, you know, God, I thank you. I'm not like other men. I, I'm not unjust. I'm not an adulterer. Like this tax collector, I fast twice a week. I give my tithes. But the tax collector stood far away and um, he would even raise his eyes up to heaven. He would, he would say, God, be merciful to me. I'm a sinner. And the Lord Jesus said, this man, the tax collector, went to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted. A very important lesson here, Jesus said that if we walk in humility before God, then God will lift us up. If we try to exalt ourselves, we will only just find a fall. We will only uh, be put down. You know, humility does, means that we recognize everything God has given to us in Christ and we accept it, but we walk knowing that it's all by grace. It is not by our efforts. We don't deserve it. We say, God, everything you've given me, it's your grace. I receive it. I walk in humility before God and God himself will lift us up. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the assurance, for the truth. that When we humble ourselves before you, you will exalt us, God, in due time. Help us to walk with this assurance in humility. I thank you for what you bring into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.